Hello guys, I am Paul from Worldwide Test Consultants. Today my session is about J unit. Uh, I will be uh, creating a J unit member from scratch for a Selenium web driver project uh, which will use Chrome web driver and uh, we will be performing some of the Chrome browser testing uh, using J unit and Selenium framework. So let's first of all go to the Eclipse um, and let me explain you the prerequisite. First of all install uh, and download and install Eclipse, download and install Java and then install Maven using Eclipse uh, Marketplace. So uh, once you have done this, um, I will explain you step by step how to create uh, the, the JUnit framework using uh, Maven and then setting up uh, the chrome chrome web driver running a uh, functional test on my website and then executing and checking my results so first of all um, i will create a um, i will cre i will create a, a maven project uh, go to this um, maven project and hit on next um, create a simple project uh, and uh, give a name to the project saying com.test.junit example use the same for artifact id as well and hit on finish so here you can see uh, a maven project has been created uh, which has the proper folder structure and a POM file. Now you can use this POM file to basically configure all your dependencies and all your libraries libraries that are required for this project. So uh, we will be, we'll be requiring uh, JUnit library and Selenium Java library for this. So I will just uh, mention those libraries from my project I'll be sharing this uh, library details in my website um, so in this form just mention those libraries and hit a save on this one once you hit save you'll be seeing um, there will be a ref reference library getting created uh, so we have to just uh, mention the dependencies node closing the dependency node and then you have to save this so you can see uh, now uh, has it installed the libraries yeah so you can see that maven dependencies has been downloaded from the internet and uh, your project is all set so now we can create a, a JUnit test. You uh, just right click on the test uh, folder and uh, create a JUnit test case. Mention the JUnit test case as JUnit test suite and finish. So it will create a code um, and it is. Uh, showing that everything is uh, correct so all your imports and other things are correct so JUnit frameworks um, um, are uh, all based upon annotations so we uh, most of the time use before before class annotation test automation uh, test annotations for um, writing multiple tests on uh, on your um, framework and then we use after class to uh, basically quit the driver session um, I mean the web driver session for Chrome and other things so I will start with um, writing the before test and uh, before class annotation which will basically being run only once um, uh, to set up your driver variables or any initializations uh, and the things that you want to perform before starting the test so and mention a library name 
you have to use public static void this is how, how it is designed uh, currently in JUnit public static void you can mention setup over here and just import this uh, from org.junit so what we will do is uh, we will uh, call this we will create a web driver element a web driver uh, basically driver uh, that we will be initiating as uh, a chrome driver inside the setup uh, method so first of all we will declare web driver variable which will be basically be public static web driver and the name will be driver and include this import as well which is org.openq.selenium after that um, we will uh, we will also require uh, a chrome driver server that could be downloaded from the chromium site which is uh, I will mention you that chromium web driver uh, chromium, chromium drive chromium.org where you can uh, download the latest uh, chrome driver so I have already installed it my it in my download folder after that uh, I will we have to mention that in a system property so we'll mention as system dot um, system dot set property and we'll men mention the key name as web driver web driver dot chrome dot driver and I have already downloaded this in my um, in my downloads uh, folder so I'll search the path uh, for chrome driver and I hope this is the one that we are looking into Mm, the other one so use this path um, inside the Mac we I'm using a Mac computer so we'll just complete this now we will um, initiate uh, the driver with uh, with the Chrome driver so we will mention driver is equals to new Chrome driver and we will include the library for this which is all in org.openq.selenium so uh, right now my driver is set and I can I will be able to use this driver in my test uh, methods um, so we will write a first test to invoke my website this could be done using driver dot get method and mention your website name starting http and then www dot worldwide test consultants consultants dot com once you have done this now uh, what we will do is we will create one more test so that uh, we would know how to create multiple tests in the same seed uh, in the same suit uh, so we will mention this as test one and test two here what I will do is um right now i will not do anything uh, let's see uh, if i'm able to invoke the chrome 
uh, Chrome browser with this website and check everything is fine we will run this as a J unit test so we right click on this Java suite and uh, run it as a J unit test so we found some error okay so I have to mention Chrome driver as well Chrome drive Chrome driver I believe this is Chrome driver yeah so yeah we will run it again so you can see the Chrome browser is getting uh, invoked and your website will also be hit so this is my website so it's all good for now uh, we will close this uh, so you can see how JNUIT is running it's showing that there were two tests one test got passed in 6.8 seconds and second test I'll be writing some tests on it um, so in the later stage now we will be clicking on this about uh, tab here and it will open a new page so let's try to hit this um, tab over here so that it will open a new page it's basically an anchor tag uh, we will first of all inspect this web page and try to get the uh, selector for this web element so there are multiple ways uh, where you can mention your web uh, your, your to ident identify your web element so it could be an xpath it could be a css selector it could be a class or id or um, any of um, any of those uh, selectors that you can use for now i'll i will use a um, an xpath which is kind of a relative xpath it's not the uh, full xpath so i will just uh, copy the xpath i will be explaining you the selectors in uh, in a different video so let me get this x path and check whether it's getting generating this x path yeah we can use this x path into um, the new test we are trying to execute we will try to click this web element by uh, driver dot find element and by your x path selector so and we'll provide this um on this string uh, which is an xpath um, expression uh, and then we will try to click this so just put a dot in and invoke the click method so once we have clicked it um, you can see that uh, the web title the web page title uh, is now changed to about test automation so we will do one thing we will once we have hit this about page we will check the web um, web browser title and if it is uh, about test automation we will pass this so uh, for um, uh, most of the uh, time if you want to pass the test case we use assert uh, various asserts commands to verify whether our tests are running properly and uh, the behavior is as what is expected so I will use a simple assert with assert equals expected versus actual and uh, the assert is here expected is about test automation as the text that I am trying to get it from the uh, web browser title so you can get the title using driver dot get title let me check what's wrong with this so 
so we can remove this because it's uh, otherwise it's written to be a boolean so it is a plain assert equals and uh, we can complete this testing so we are all set um, now we can run this test and uh, the first test will invoke the website and the second test will hit on the about um, uh, on the about page basically an anchor tag and um, it will then assert on on the basis of the title of the page so just run it again using the JUnit test it will open the browser and hit the web page and click on about and then it will check the uh, the title of the page and you can see um, it has successfully verified the title of the page and the test is passed so both of the tests have run um, this is 4.8 seconds and other is 2.6 seconds and uh, all the results has passed the last uh, the last thing that you want to do uh, uh, after running these two tests is to close this um, this chrome driver session um, so we can use driver dot quit uh, and use the annotations as after class so after class uh, will basically run after each of the test test uh, conditions has been uh, executed and uh, it runs at the last so we can again mention a public static um, void a function name called as teardown and uh, we can quit the driver from here driver.quit is the function that we are looking here and we can import this after class as well using unit. so so all good we can run again and we'll see that uh, the test is passed and it will close uh, basically close uh, the chrome um, browser at the last I'm running this again so it's uh, in working my website it, it will click the about page and then it will close and you can see that uh, the uh, the Chrome browser is closed automatically and the results are passed and we have a similar results uh, available here so this is all about the J, J unit uh, framework I have uh, used uh, uh, some of the selenium tests on the Chrome browser hope you enjoyed my video um, I will be posting more uh, more frameworks and more videos about uh, different aspects of automation testing uh, please subscribe and like my channel if you like um, this is Paul signing it uh, signing out from worldwide tax consultants have a great day uh, hope to see you soon bye for now